Uh, for both of you, it, it looked like uh, they were trying to, to get the ball to you real early, but maybe there were some turnovers. You know, Hampton was kind of deflecting the passes. Was it frustrating in the first half trying to do what you do? No, she got it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it was frustrating because, um, as you know, we like to go into the post. And um, for some reason, we just felt like um, it was crowded down low. Um, but once we got it going, um, we found some space and tried to get the ball up in the rim. Brian. Elena, can you put your arms around 39 straight home wins? I mean, I know you've been a part of a lot of them. It's got to be quite impressive, even from y'all's end. Um, I just know nobody nobody likes losing at home. And I've been saying from day one, I'm not, lo I'm not trying to lose a home game. So, you know, it's just something about you know, being at home, it doesn't matter who the opponent is. Like, we're, we're just going to go out there and we're going to fight like we're, we can't fight anymore. Like, we're not trying to take an L on our own court. Kyle. You mentioned this early struggles, but what, what changed in the second half? I mean, you shot 72%, 18 of 25. Was it, did, how did it open up down there in the post? Um, timing was an issue in the first half. Uh, either we were too early or just a little too late. Um, we just we just made sure that we were more available and we just showed our numbers to our guards and just made it clear that we were wide open. So that was something that we knew we had to adjust from the first um, half to the second half. Okay. Elena, after the, the, the winter game Sunday, did you feel any more energized coming into this one <laughs> after the showing that you had? Well, I kind of felt pressured because, you know, my coaches were like, we expect nothing less than the winter game, so <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to have a follow-up performance, and I mean, I uh, seeing that I got 12 rebounds, so following up a triple double with a double double was nice. So I feel like my effort, you know, it showed. David. Oh God, Jesus. Elena, when, when you look at what you guys have done this year, you look at the men's team still being undefeated. South Carolina, the only team in the country with both teams undefeated. Do you feel like your South Carolina is kind of in the middle of a basketball moment that's maybe just bigger than the women's team right now? The, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for our men's team. You know, they've been trying to, you know. They're, they've been doing good with recruiting, and, you know, they're on to come up. And, you know, they're still undefeated, and it's – I mean, we're like a family. You know, we come and support them. They come and support us. I know I saw some of the men's team in the stands. So, I mean, it's, it's just a nice little, you know, family moment that we're going through right now, especially with being undefeated. But even if somebody's record were to change, like, the support still got to stay the same. David. For both of you, what was the, the struggles in the first half, not just in the post, but overall? Is it just – you know, Hampton was a little bit better, overlooking them. Just what, what was the problem in the first half? Um, I felt like we were moving too fast um, at the beginning of the game when it started. Um, just like Glay said, um, we were posting either too early or too late. Um, we just had to get a feel for it. And I felt like once we got a feel for it in the second half, um, it was getting up shots was much easier for us. Anything else, <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs>